Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Beer Friends Unfiltered. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I am Paul, and joining me on the couch today is Graham, Lou, and Phil. Hi! <laughs> today we are doing... One of my faves. Beer. Firestone DBA. I don't think I've had this. What? I have a double DBA, and... Uh, <laughs> did I, nope, I didn't drink that. I don't get my bottle list. Double DBA? Would that be a quadruple barrel? Uh, I think so. That's I have that favorite. in my cellar. Uh... <laughs> Cellar. I have not had this. It's a British pale ale, it says, but it's barrel aged twice. Is that right? Oh, it's selectively fermented in the Firestone Union Oak Barrel Brewing System. So, oh, so that's so bullshit. Uh, well, well, aged somewhere. They they have a system. I trust them. I don't. Uh, it's a Union Pale. The IBUs at three thirty. I'm sorry. ABVs five. Uh, you've had this. Have you had this? I'm pretty sure. I no, I haven't. I haven't I mean, had this. So why don't we? Yeah, I've had this. Before. Well, that is delicious. It is quite it's good. good. Graham, what do you think? Uh, it's definitely what would they say, an English ale? Yeah, yeah. that's definitely that because I said that already. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so uh, they're not lying. It was that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a little on the you know being that I am. Super into hoppy IPAs. It's definitely lacking in that area, but I think for an English. Pale Ale, it is, you know, lives right up to the namesake. Malty, yeah, a little sweet. Yeah, it, it is. It's very sweet. It's yeah, very really sweet. Very sweet. Um, I, the the thing that I was actually expecting it to be a little bit sweeter. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's not sweet. I don't think it's it's sweet in the way that you would think a bourbon barrel aged. But beer would be very. Now let's. I have to stop you. It's not Did bourbon. Did say bourbon? bourbon? No, this is just barrel aged. Just in the barrel. Oh, oak barrels. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, oak yeah. barrel. So okay, well that's, that's what oak. I was thinking of. Yeah, because I w or, as soon as I see barrel aged, just because we're in America, well, yeah, I we'll automatically think it's bourbon no, because that's the this country. is yeah. just barrel aged. So okay. you get a lot more of the vanilla and yeah. the vanilla flavor out of that. Makes, oak, that makes more sense. Which, I was gonna say I get vanilla and oak in it. It's definitely the sweetness. I think it's too sweet for me to be honest with you. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's probably it's it's a sweet beer. Uh, just given the. I could do. Sweet I could do sweet. one. I can sweet. have one, but I can't. Sweet that malty sweet. sweetness. You really so get that though. that oak uh, vanilla sweetness off the top, especially through the head. It does make it super smooth. It's very. It's, it's very super smooth. Super smooth. I yeah. I can't believe I haven't. It's had good. This it's before. good. I'd, I'd, I'd recommend it to anyone. Like it. It's also like. It's also I think one of the especially being a double barrel like whatever double barrel means the fact is it's not just a single barrel whatever. Yeah. Like a, I'm surprised it's not stronger in one of those areas. You know, in, in a taste that, like, whether it's oak or whatever, well, you know what I mean? I also think that, you know, when you when you make the beer, like, lower in alcohol and lower in, in those other flavors originally, mm. you know, you kind of get that, the malt back form, backbone, not as many hops. And then if you age it in oak barrel, I think that does have a mellowing kind of process. Sure. You know, whereas the bourbon barrel uh, gives you that kind of intense, like, bourbon flavor. So I think this, this I was going to say, is a pretty mellow, easy, drinkable beer. I mean, I'm done with half of it. Yeah. It's been. It's fast. <clears throat> it's been two minutes. It's maybe I just haven't had enough in an oak barrel. Like, maybe I'm just... Yeah. yeah. Have I mean, I'll drink the six-pack in 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Graham's right. It's fast. It's sweet. It's super easy to drink. It being 5%, being 5 ABV. I mean, it's just north of sessionable. Yeah. We, uh, with that, we're not really sure what that is anymore. We've decided we don't really know. <laughs> It's just north of being a session ale, I think, because I think yeah. at five, eh, uh, it's, it's, if it's session, it's at, at the, the top uh, side. Whatever. At the bar of the Owl Farm, BGH's sister bar. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> they have their list divided into session beers, medium ABV beers, and high ABV beers, which uh, is kind of fun. Uh, their session list definitely includes five plus beers. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, well then I, I don't, I don't know about it. their description. Maybe they just didn't have enough session beers. It's, it's high. It's, it's a five, so it's very easy to drink. Mm -hmm. uh, not gonna mess you up. <laughs> Trying to think of other, other oak barrel stuff that I've that I've liked has been like the, uh, unearthly in an oak cask, the southern tier oh, uh, that. oak age unearthly. Yeah, that That's great. a spectacular beer, and you get a lot of the the notes of you know the vanilla notes and stuff like that. Since mm -hmm. it's not bourbon, it just sort of mellows out. It's a, uh, it, a imperial IPA, so the that that sort of mellows it out a little bit. Uh, this you get a lot more of the oak barrel because nothing there to overpower it since mm -hmm. it's just a British pale ale or right. English pale ale or uh, it's just a pale ale, however you want to call it. So a lot more malt sweetness, a lot more sweetness off of the vanilla. Uh, big fan of this. Let me put it to you guys. Uh, who do you bring this to? Who is the person? Yeah. I think I have an idea. What type of okay. person do you take this to? Go ahead. Who do you think? Um, 
Can I time stamp ourselves or no? Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say that, you know, since, you know, there's that big uh, football game coming up. That's right. And football is the same in here in England, right? English That's out. right. So mm-hmm. it's like the soccer match, mm-hmm. that we're, you know, big Super Bowl thing, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't bring it back. No, not the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what you just said. I agree. Right. Right. The joke is better in my head. Greg's right. not bringing it to the Super Bowl. He's not bringing it to the Premier League match. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's not bringing it to you. not sharing this. Well, I think I think what I would do is, you know, this, uh, like I said before, much more into hoppy, a little bit more intense beer flavors i think that i would save this for somebody who is kind of easy on the beer mm-hmm. you know they don't want a big flavor they don't want a big punch they don't want to get drunk they just want a regular beer i would just say oh you know this is a good in- entry level craft beer i guess i would say what do you think uh, i would actually go i think i don't think it's a good entry level craft beer because i don't think it's a good example of anything i think yeah. i agree no i, I like what phil's well, saying because i think it's too good. sweet i think you get right. Weird flavors, but keep going. So I, I, I think, but this is, I think this is like a next level, a second tier thing because you yeah. don't, you wouldn't give somebody a, a like a double bourbon barrel, you know, whatever. Exactly. Like you don't give somebody KBS or CBS as their yeah. first craft beer, you know, mm-hmm. like. So and, and I think this isn't quite that level, but it's definitely not a first round. Like when when somebody can can you know you can say oh this is a, this is an English ale and they'll know what you're talking about then this is then this is like. All right, now let me let, let's broaden your horizons yeah, a little I guess bit. That's like, true. Now we'll talk about barrel aging. I think this is a good entry for barrel aging uh, things because you can start talking about because none of those none of the barrel flavors are are um, specifically distinct, but it is like you can say you can it's kind of woody. It's you know you got that vanilla in there, uh, but it doesn't also take away from the taste of the beer. Yeah, um, it doesn't overpower any part of the beer because uh, it's just a simple English ale. So I think that's very valuable. Yeah. Um, so I think if like somebody goes, oh, what does barrel aging mean? Then this is this is a good one for that. But that's not a first round. This is a really good. You're right. This is a really great way to show people what barrel aging does to a beer because yeah. everybody will sort of know what a pale ale or a bitters or something like that tastes like. Yeah. So this is a good way to show that. I think I'm bringing this uh, not to like a really big craft beer fans like house, but I think for like uh, it's gonna go to like a dinner party and bringing a six pack. This is something that for somebody who, who likes beer. Mm-hmm. And expects me to bring good beer. Right. I think I'm gonna bring something like this. Be like, oh, check it out. This is what makes this different. Something I can talk to somebody about. It makes it a little bit different. It still feels, um, still feels special because it's barrel aged. Yeah. And because for us it's Firestone, uh, we have the East Coast bias, which means it's Firestone. <laughs> you still don't see it as much. There, there's a lot more of their stuff out here, but it's still sort of like the Cal- it's a California brewery, and it's it's still a little exotic. Rare, rare. At least I feel that way. I try uh, to go there. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's we'll close. You in. <laughs> it was close. Yeah, the door's locked. That's too bad. That's what they told you. <laughs> Next time, oh, yeah. it was three, three, it smart. Was three oh, crap, Graham's coming. It was, it was three guy. o'clock on a Saturday. There were a lot of people inside, so you could see them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, I, I definitely agree with you guys. Just to uh, step back a little bit from what I said before, in that I guess you, if I said pale ale to somebody in America right now, at least. And they drank this, they might be like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, no, what you're talking about. Yeah. And not even like, even straying away from like the hoppy, hoppy pale ale, pale ale but even like, say, uh, Captain Lawrence pale ale, yeah. it's going to be a little bit hoppier with a bite to it, yeah. a little bit crisper. This is a little bit too sweet, so it would be, you know, something where you would give it to someone to point out the notes of what an English pale ale. Well, I think this is also better to kind of, you could, I guess you could sort of like mm-hmm. give this to somebody to kind of point out what an English ale is, you know, something that's different. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's hard to do that with like Sam Adams or something and, mm-hmm. and still pe- have people like, and I'd be like, oh, this is Sam Adams, you know, like, this is also, I think, a good one to do with that as well. But again, I don't think that's a first round thing that you get into, you know. Well, uh, Firestone, Firestone Lager, thank you guys very much. Uh, excellent, as is everything. Uh, now I'm going to actually take out that DB, that special DB I got. I'm going to put that in my fridge because I'm going to drink that <laughs> soon. Uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Podcast. We're going to go do a podcast now. You can find that on BeerFriendsRadio.com or on uh, iTunes.com on the Beer Friends Happy Hour. Uh, uh, thanks for, I don't know, what else? Yeah, Did I say something else to people? You're a beautiful person. Okay. All right. Uh,